Zio Zio Online. Self-proclaimed humanoid interface created by Oh Aliens. yes. Self-proclaimed time traveling girl. Tee -hee. Self-proclaimed squad of Esper boys. They've shown me enough proof that I may now safely remove the word self-proclaimed oh, from yeah. their titles. The three of them, each for their own reasons, mind you, are currently focused on Haruki Suzumiya. Even if I believe everything I've seen, I still can't figure out one thing. Why me? An alien, a girl from the future, and an esper boy all migrated toward Haruhi because, as Koizumi put it, <laughs> that's what she wished Yeah, uh, well, yeah, it's because what because me? what the writers dictate. Why have I been dragged feet first into all this weird stuff? Because it's interesting, and it's funny. I mean, I'm a 100% awesome. ordinary high schooler. No special powers or anything here. I mean, who wrote this scenario? Was it you? It was me. You? Me, baby, me. Yeah, right. It's not like it's my problem anyway. Why do I have to get all worked up about it? All of this is Haruhi's How? Seriously, what? what she's the one who should be worried about all this right. going on, not me. Nagato, Koizumi, Miss Asahina. From now on, they should just go speak to her directly. And whatever happens after that, well, that's Haruhi's yeah. problem. I've got nothing to do with it. Everyone else can go do whatever they want, as far as I'm concerned. Yo! Hey. So, welcome to episode Summer six. Do you think or episode six of huh? Haru Zuzumiya. I don't know. Normal high school. It's part six of the melancholy of Hazu Zuzumiya. It's basically just according to my ranking from the first season. Yeah. And I shall explain myself. A Tamaguchi's memory of the You're about to see some fiction. good stuff Fantasy right here. A dream. Nagato's the victim of Haru. That's not what happened. What happened in previous episodes is that Asakura, one of the classmates, was another data interface just like Yuki. And tried to kill Kion, who's close to Haruri, so he can basically. But she can basically see what happened because she was getting more options. Well, behold, Yuki stepped in and saved his life just in can. She time. And as I lunged to prevent her from falling to the hall, and this is when his friend walked in. You came walking through the door, Tanaguchi. Once He's you like, what the heck? Truth about something. Ten to one, it's always going to turn out to be something trivial. You liar. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I was dumb enough to believe that lie, the fact that Nagato, who's famous for being anti-social, mind you, came to you for advice, well, that automatically makes you not normal, uh, buddy. I never realized Nagato's that famous. <laughs> also, Only if his friend knew. So if you think that you're just a normal male high school student, then I'm about as normal as a water right. flame. Hey, Tanaguchi. You don't have any supernatural powers, do you? No, huh? I can stick to walls and climb on them. Web shoot everywhere. You've finally become poisoned by Suzumiya's extreme brand of nuttiness, haven't you? Don't get too close to me, buddy, or I'll catch the Suzumiya bug. Watch out. Ha 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 Keep laughing. Why didn't you change out of your gym clothes? Because it's hot. Yeah, it is hot. Don't worry no about joking. it. I'm going to change again when we get to the club room. Besides, I've got cleaning duty, and it's easier for me to move around in this. Yeah, well, can't argue with that. I was thinking, what do you want Mikuru's next costume to be? Hmm. You've had the bunny girl, the maid. I guess she could... Wait, what do you mean next? Kitty cat ears? Or a nurse? Or maybe a dominatrix? <laughs> Kitty cat ears. Oh, nurses what a pervert. <laughs> what <laughs> hey, you're the one who brought it up. Looks like Zuzumi is getting kind of bored. I'm so bored. Nope. Oh. So I wonder what that means. This is a funny part right here. This is one of my favorite parts of the episode. <laughs> Yuki's chilling. Miyuki's making some tea. And this perfect decides to go on up in his <laughs> picture folder and look at. I see. There it is. Mikuru. Are you working on anything important? No, nothing. Really? <laughs> uh, I'm screwed. Why does that folder have my name on it, huh? Come on, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, this. Well, yeah, I wonder. It's probably nothing to worry about, though. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Just step back a little, please. Luke is like, what the heck? Look, look. Can't I see? What? Let's look. 
<laughs> uh oh, busted. <laughs> so, you're into maid outfits, huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> we're gonna change. Sure, fine with me. I Little said lover's we're fat. changing now. Oh, well. So what? Get out now! Oh, dude, no. <laughs> What's with her? She never cares if people see her when she's changing in our homeroom. Well, now my arms and shoulders are cool, but the rest of this crummy outfit doesn't breathe at all! Hmm. Yugi's like, oh, sucks to be you. Hey. So I guess today's the day of the costume party? Don't make the story more <laughs> complicated. Mikuru. Uh oh. Come here, have a seat. You could cut the tension with a knife. Yeah, <laughs> good job. They're like a couple of sisters. She just wants to make a maid with braids. In the end, it was actually a pretty normal day at the club. There wasn't really anything we wanted to do. Actually, we didn't know what we should do. It was like a moratorium on life as time flowed by. A life we took for oh. granted. An ordinary Yay. life. And despite feeling dissatisfied about the overwhelming lack of things to do, you keep thinking about the next day. You keep telling yourself you still got lots of time. <laughs> uh, that was unusual in and Poor of itself. Mikuru. <laughs> and that really wasn't a bad thing at all. Almost getting killed by a classmate, or perhaps meeting a monster tearing up a deserted world with gray skies. Now those things don't happen every day. It's true. I wish that days like this would last I like forever. days like don't you kind of just chill. Wouldn't you think that way too? Oh yeah. <laughs> But there was someone that didn't think so. And of course, this world is boring. It sucks, girl. What the? How the come you just walk up in his room? What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Scissors. I need him for art class. Well, okay, I guess. But just ask. For Don't run with him, right? She knew that she could get and away. She with walks it. away. By the way, do you know what makes people have no, dreams? No, I don't. There are two kinds of sleep. REM sleep, and then there's non-REM sleep. <laughs> the two repeat in intervals throughout the sleep cycle. During REM, when the body's asleep, but the brain is still somewhat active, that's when we have dreams. And this is what yeah. the most interesting yeah. part is. The alarm hasn't gone off yet, has it? Wake up! No way. Telling you to wake up! Whoa. What the heck? I thought he was just in his bed. What are they doing there? <laughs> Do you know where we are right now? We're at Sega headquarters, I I no. Up, and then I found myself in this place with you lying there passed out next to me. What's going on? And why did we wake up outside our school like this? A closed space. I thought I was sleeping in my bed at home, so how did we end up in this Some place? say... The sky, it's weird. As I read on the theories of Waharuri... No, why? ...powers can create... No, just a bunch mess with reality. Some theories say... First off, because, you know... You might be able to find someone somewhere else. She created and has him there. They were the two only people there because... Well, don't right. You know, she, 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 she likes him subconsciously on a subconscious level. She was upset that Mikuru and him were flirting earlier at the um, S.O.S. West Brigade Club. So, I mean, those are two fears I heard about. Not so sure, I mean, there's another character here to explain it. Oh. Force field. This thing runs all around the perimeter of the school. Does that mean we can't get out of here? Well, if you're scared, just go ahead and grab my arm, why don't you? I'm sure it'll help get me in the mood. A <laughs> jerk. <laughs> I was from the Japanese version, she probably said Baka. <laughs> I can't get a dial tone. Yeah, that's what I figured. Hey, Kyun, look! Where are we? It's really weird. Well, yeah, it's really weird, right? Hmm, yeah. T. You thirsty? Uh, no. no. Uh. What's going on? What is this? I don't get it at all. Where are we? And why am I here anyway? 
And on top of all that, why am I alone with because you? Because you might How should I know? like him on a subconscious level, maybe. I'm going to look around. You stay here, got it? Um, I'll be right okay. back. Okay, sure. Typical Haruki behavior. Yeah. Well, well, well. Koizumi, Koizumi. Is that you? Well, hello there. Took you long enough to show up, although I guess I was sort of expecting to see you looking a little more normal. Yeah, that. I need to talk to you about something. Frankly speaking, this is what I'd call an emergency situation. Normally, I can get into close space without too much trouble. But this time, even with some extra power from my colleagues, it was all I could do to show up in this incomplete form. And I'm not going to last too long either. Looks like our Esper powers are fading. They could disappear any minute mm. now. Then do you know what's going on? And are Haruhi and I the only ones stuck in here? That's it. The thing we've been afraid of happening all along is starting to happen yeah. right now. It seems Miss Suzumi has finally given up on the real world. She's decided to create a new one now. In other words, this is the end of the world. End of the world as we know it, and I feel uh, fine. What was that? <laughs> The top brass of the organization is seriously panicked right now. Nobody knows what will happen to the real world now that we've lost our deity. If Miss Suzumi is feeling merciful, we might get to keep living on this side of the bubble. But it might disappear into nothing the next minute, too. Wait, now why is this... Who knows? In any case, both you and Miss Suzumi have completely disappeared from our uh -huh. world. You two aren't in an ordinary closed space. Right. It's a new dimension that Miss Suzumi has created. I don't know. Maybe all the other close spaces were practiced for the one you're in right now. Who knows? <laughs> the space that you're in right now is probably the world that Miss Suzumiya wishes she was in. Oh. I don't really know what she wants, so I'm at a loss as to what could happen next. Also learns. Do you have any idea why I'm the one in here with her? You honestly have no idea why? You were chosen by Miss Suzumiya. You were the one and only person from the other world that Miss Suzumiya really wanted to be with. I thought you'd have realized that by now. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like I'm almost out of time. Uh -oh. The way things are going, I don't think we'll be seeing each other uh -oh. again. So you're telling me that's it? I gotta live all alone here with Haruhi in this dull world of gray? You're the new Adam and Eve. <laughs> Go on, procreate, increase the population. Yes. I'll punch you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. It's only a theory, but I think in a little while this place will start looking more familiar. However, it's not going to be exactly the same as over here. Well, if I ever get reincarnated on your side, be sure to say hi for me. So we can never go back to that side ever again? Only if Miss Suzumiya wishes it. Although I hate to say it, the chances of that are pretty slim. I'm gonna miss you guys a lot. I would have liked to get to know both of you better. The whole thing fills me with a bit of regret. Mm. Oh, I almost forgot. I've got messages for you from Mikuro Asahina and Yuki Nagato. Miss Asahina told me to deliver an apology <laughs> to you. I'm sorry it's all my Mikuru. fault. And Yuki Nagato told me to tell you, turn on the turn computer. On computer. Goodbye. Bye, Kazumi. Koizumi, I mean. What kind of joke is this anyway? A very bad one. You're screwed. Turn on the computer. Do it now. Do it now. Now, apparently, this copy I have don't have no English subtitles to translate it. So, basically, the message is, is that Yuki is saying, you know, um, can you see this? He's like, of course I can see it. You know, he's explaining, you know, that Haruri has... Uh, of course I can see it. Ever, Haruri has some control or not. Not so necessarily, I think that... What should I do? In this case... Pretty much saying, you know, you have... Power over it, in a sense. Not him, but it's like, the creatures there, they kinda can create things for nothing and stuff like that. But it's gonna be up to him to go to the library and find a book called Sleeping Beauty. You guys know what that means. That what? I mean, you know what Sleeping Beauty is. It's, I think it might be a metaphor of symbolism. You know, and let's we'll see if we can get to the library. And anyone in the comment section, feel free to correct me. Nagato! I'm so that it was the right message. Sleeping Beauty. 
I guess it's like Yuki saying that she feels like. What do you want me to do, Nagato? Koizumi. They're evolving, I guess. Uh oh, it's about to get serious. Oh, the Celestials. They're here. Suzumiya, we need to go. <laughs> like this forever. I mean, if we get hungry, there aren't any places to right. eat here. It's strange, but I have a feeling we'll get by somehow. I'm having fun right now. I wonder why. What are you going to do with the SOS Brigade? You created it. Are you just going to throw it away? It doesn't matter anymore. I'm having the strangest, most wonderful experience I've ever dreamed of having. I don't need to search for it when it's happening right here. But I want to go back. And she's kind of shocked. It's almost like he's talking to her now. It's to her subconscious like self. Realize, even though I complain a lot, I really liked my life up till now. Kunikida, and that idiot Tanaguchi, Koizumi, Nagato, Miss Asahina, uh -huh. and that Asakura girl who disappeared. You can put her on the oh, list yeah. too. What are you talking about? Ooh. I want to go back and see all of them again. I don't know. I feel like I've still got so many things that I want to talk to them about. You'll see them again. It's not like this place is going to be covered by a big gloomy shadow forever. Right. Once tomorrow comes around, I'm positive the sun's going to shine again. So I'm come out to tomorrow. That's not it. I'm not talking about seeing them in here. I want to see everybody from the old world in the old world. She like WTF what? I don't understand you. She like what are you talking about? I like it here. With you, almost the same. Weren't you sick and tired of the boring world we were living in? Didn't you want something really weird and interesting to happen like I did? I'm sure of it, but... I used to. <laughs> you know something? Oh, Hurry. boy. For the last couple days, I've had all these strange things happening around me. You had no way of knowing this. But I guess you can say the world's been revolving around you. You've been completely unaware of it, but actually everything in the world was getting more and more weird and interesting. She doesn't know how to react to it. Nagato said she was the potential for evolution. Miss Asahina called her a distortion in space-time, and Koizumi treated her like a god. Then, what about me? What does Haruhi Suzumiya mean to someone like me? Haruhi is Haruhi, and nothing else but Haruhi. Haruhi. Great, using tautology to dodge the question. I can't help it. I just don't have a definite answer for it. I mean, think about it. If somebody pointed at a classmate of yours and asked you what that person meant to you, how would you I answer? I have no idea. What would you say? Uh... Sorry, I'm dodging the question again. But to me, Haruhi isn't just a classmate. And of course, she's not the potential for evolution, a time distortion, or a god right. either. That's impossible. Do you know the story of Snow White? Sleep and beauty. A kiss. What's wrong? I've sort of got a thing for girls with ponytails. What? I don't remember when it was, but you had your hair in a ponytail, and it looked so good on you. What the crazy. hell? What are you, an idiot? No, he's a genius. He just saved their lives. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty and Snow White, kiss, wake up the sleeping maiden. Bam, Dr. Wham. At this point, I don't know if his soul got returned to his body or what. It'd be interesting, but he just kind of turned over and fell over. I think that happened to me a couple of times in my past. <laughs> Roll over off the bed. What kind of dream was that? Sigmund Freud's got to be laughing at I'm me. laughing at you too. <laughs> 
I never had a dream that was so realistic before. <sighs> or maybe, maybe this isn't the old world anymore. Maybe this world is a new one that Haruhi created. And if that's the case, how would I go about confirming it? Whoa. In a ponytail. <laughs> Yo, how hey. you doing? I don't know, not so good. I had a nightmare last night. Really? Yeah, I couldn't really get any sleep because of it. I never wanted to ditch school so badly like today. Is that so? How are you? Yeah, what? <laughs> Looks good on you. She didn't say anything. Hmm. At this point, I'm not sure if they really like each other, or, I mean, at, at this point, since they just came back from that dimension, they're probably just still friends, and he's just playing it off as a dream, so. I believe I should be thanking you right now. It looks like I get to keep my part-time job a little while Yay. longer. Well, I don't think we can deny the distinct possibility that the world we're in now was freshly created by her last night. In any case, it is an honor to see you and Miss Suzumi again. Hmm. Be seeing you after class. So, look that, guys. You and Haruhi Suzumi have disappeared from this world for two hours and thirty minutes. So tell me, how many more of your kind are out there, anyway? A lot. And is somebody like Asakura going to come around and try and kill me again? Don't worry. I won't let that happen. Hmm. Uh, oh, she always cries. What do you call? Miss Asahina. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any idea what you're saying. Oh, by the way, Miss Asahina, I believe you've got a star-shaped mole on your chest right about here. Am I right? What? She like, huh? She look at her chest. <laughs> I don't know why he even said that. <laughs> you all teasing her and stuff. Oh shoot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> now, let me tell you about what happened afterwards. The SOS Brigade finally submitted all the necessary paperwork to register as an extracurricular group within the school. I was sure that the name spreading excitement all over the world with Haruhi Susumiya Brigade would have been rejected outright, so we changed it at the last minute to spreading cheer to our student body brigade. And we still patrol the town for strange phenomena. Today's our second tour of duty. By some strange coincidence, Miss Asahina, Nagato, and Koizumi all had errands mm -hmm. to run. So, I'm waiting for Haruhi by myself. <laughs> I made sure to arrive an hour before we had agreed to meet. Remember, we had a rule that regardless of whether or not you were <laughs> late, the last person to show up gets a penalty. Oh, she's mad. I'm not quite sure why she's scowling. Perhaps it's a reaction to the low attendance rate today. Or could it be regret that she's shown up last? <laughs> I don't know. Penalty. But I'll have lots of time to find out. When she's buying me lunch. Uh, yep. And when we sit down, I'd like to talk to her about all sorts of things. About how the SOS Brigade is going to operate hmm. from now on. My wish list for Miss Asahina's cosplaying, etc., etc. But I digress. I already know exactly Guys, what that's I want to talk to her about first. With My Beautiful Anime yeah. Zeal, Episode that's right. 4, Hazard Zumiya, Episode 6. I'd like to talk to her a little bit about I'll see you guys on the flip side. Travelers and espers. <laughs>